Hello everyone! In this week's video, I'm going to be drawing one of my viewers' original characters. So let's get started. This OC was submitted by Elena6. Her name is Amy. She is 14 years old. Her hobbies include drawing anime, visiting her favorite cafe, and visiting the woods behind her house. She likes sweet things, puppies, kittens, and wearing her jacket off her shoulders. So let's start drawing Amy. So in the info about Amy, it says that she likes going to her favorite cafes and I kind of wanted to draw inspiration from that and so I am drawing Amy sitting in a cafe and she's at like a table sitting by a window and for this picture I wanted to challenge myself to draw all of the background elements uh, myself or to do all the perspective myself without help from the 3D materials uh, in Clip Studio. In Clip Studio, there are these 3D tools that will can help you set up the perspective for pictures and you can use them in backgrounds and stuff. And I often use the perspective rulers and 3D tools when working on my next door neighbors or when I have to draw complicated backgrounds. But for this picture, I really wanted to challenge myself to do it all myself just to kind of see what I could do myself without any help from the program. And uh, so yeah, that's what I'm doing for this picture. I decided to do two point perspective. So I have one point on the left and one point on the right. And then all of the different lines kind of go to those two points. And I use uh, the line tool a lot for this picture because I'm trying to make the grid and figure out where everything is supposed to go. One of the hardest parts for this picture was uh, putting Amy in the same perspective as the picture. I always have a hard time with that because it's like I can have a character, I can have a background, but then it's always tricky placing that character in a background. <laughs> and so I was trying my best to make Amy in a similar perspective to the background. For Amy's pose, I wanted to have her looking out the window and she has her head kind of resting on her hand and she's kind of leaning over the table. This pose was kind of tricky. <laughs> I wasn't using any references for the pose and so it was kind of hard and I wanted her feet to be back and kind of resting on the bar of the stool. When I was planning out the background, I wasn't sure how much of the background I needed to draw to take up the canvas because I was drawing my picture super tiny so that I could see both uh, points of the perspective and here I enlarged my sketch so I could get an idea of how much of the background I actually needed to draw and I actually didn't need to draw a lot of the back wall uh, so yeah I'm glad I enlarged the sketch so I'd have an idea and then I made the sketch smaller again because I wanted to finalize the perspective a bit more. Like I had kind of a rough idea of where things should go in the perspective but I wanted it to be a little bit more exact and make sure everything's kind of going back to the same points. Here I'm working on the table. Uh, yeah, the table went pretty smoothly, thankfully. It's always tricky working with circles in perspective. So first I make a square and then I try to fit the circle in the square. Next I'm working on the window and the window is really, really fun. I had a lot of fun with the window cause it's got like all these different little squares and it lets in a lot of pretty light. Uh, so coloring with the window was a lot of fun. The perspective for it was kind of tricky to figure out and I was trying to figure out how big I need to make each of the squares and making sure they all look like the same size but I can't make them the same size since they get smaller as they go away. <laughs> I was trying to keep things proportionate. That's always one thing I kind of have trouble with is keeping things kind of proportionate in pictures. Uh, so now I'm trying to clean up Amy a little bit. I was working on the background a lot and I almost kind of forgot about Amy in all of this even though she's kind of the star of the picture. Uh, so yeah, I'm cleaning up my sketch of her and working on the pose. I'm pretty happy with how her pose turned out and her hand turned out nicely. That's resting by her face. I was kind of nervous about that hand. Uh, one thing that was really fun about Amy's design was her jacket going off of her shoulders. I never really draw clothes like that, but it was a lot of fun drawing the jacket like that because it creates a bunch of wrinkles. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I like to draw wrinkles in clothing. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. I did have trouble with the hand that's on the table. That hand was kind of tricky for me. I don't know why. Her shoes were also tricky. They have a lot of detail in them. And I'm not the best of shoes, but I tried my best. Overall, her legs just kind of gave me trouble. I kept having to adjust them and trying to make them look right. 
making them look like they line up with his perspective. The stool was also tricky. I was having a hard time with the stool. <laughs> I was challenging myself with this picture, and so a lot of the things in this picture were kind of difficult. <laughs> I also had a little plant in the background and a little light above her. I wanted to try to add little details to the picture to make it feel more complete and detailed, I guess. <laughs> and to kind of fill up the background a bit. Here I'm starting to work on the line art. I'll probably skip most of the line art because nothing that interesting happened. It went smoothly though, so that's good. Everything went good during the line art phase. I did line art for most of the picture. The only part I didn't really do line art for was the foreground table. I put a table in the foreground just to give the picture a little bit more depth. And I also uh, didn't use line art on the window because I felt like doing line art for the window would have been really, really tricky because there is a lot going on with the window and a lot of different like lines going across and upwards and stuff. So for the window, I decided to just use blocks of color. I would use the line tool and I would just make lines uh, with a dark gray color. And I was trying my best to make all the lines look right and like they're in the right place. I kind of have four smaller squares or eight smaller squares in the top and then there's kind of this middle bar going across and then another eight squares on the bottom. Uh, so that was kind of my design for the window. And I also go in with a lighter color and I draw all of the edges that we would see. So if the window is above the perspective point, we can see the underside of the window. And if it's below the perspective point, we can see the upper part of the window. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> and uh, I also make it so we can see a little bit of the background outside a little later on. So I add um, some blocks of color for that. I skipped myself doing the base coloring because that's kind of boring. Uh, but for the main color scheme, I wanted to really base my color scheme off of the character. And so I used a lot of greens and browns and I actually quite like the color scheme. It's really simple, but I feel like it looks really pretty and nice. And here's where I'm adding the blocks of color for the background. The light was mostly going to be blocking the background, so I didn't put a ton of work into the background because I knew we wouldn't really see it. But I wanted us to be able to see a little bit of the background so that we could get an idea that there is stuff out there that she's looking at. So next I'm starting to add the shading to Amy. I have a layer on top of all of my coloring layers for Amy and I'm just going in with a layer set to multiply and I'm just adding kind of the basic shadows to her and trying to get an idea of how I want the lighting to be. And something I've been doing different recently is I've been using the blending tool a lot and like I don't know why I've started using it more recently. I used to use it a lot like a long time ago but more recently I pretty much only use the soft airbrush tool to color things and kind of blend things out. But more recently I've been using the blending tool a lot more. I don't know. I guess it's just kind of fun kind of mixing the colors together. So next I'm working on the lighting for the window and I used a layer set to add glow and I just drew a whole bunch of uh, light coming in in the squares and I make it kind of overlap some areas so like it's uh, going on the wall in the back and it's kind of going onto the floor so it kind of looks like the light is kind of coming through the window and I feel like it looks kind of pretty. I think my favorite part about the picture is this window. Uh, here I was trying to add some shadows from the window. I was kind of trying to cheat and just transform it. But I couldn't get it to look right so I actually had to do it myself and go in with all the lines and stuff. Uh, and I found that ended up working a bit better because I just couldn't make it look right when I was just copying and transforming it. <laughs> So next I'm starting to add more shading to Amy again. I'm starting to add a little bit more highlights. A lot of the colors for Amy are dark, so I couldn't really add more shading to her. I could kind of only add uh, highlights. And I did add a little bit of shading, but a lot of the lighting on Amy was adding highlights to her. I also add a little bit of glowing light coming from the background, maybe suggesting that there's like light over there and maybe stuff going on over there. But Amy's kind of over here in a little quiet spot by the window. Now I'm starting to add more shading to the table. Uh, this picture kind of had a lot of different parts to shade. I had the table and the stool and the plant in the background. Also about the plant, I didn't draw the leaves. <laughs> I found a brush online and I just added leaves there because I didn't feel like drawing the plant. <laughs> uh, but the plant looks really cool back there. The brush I got was really cool. 
There's also things like the mug and the little itty bitty thing next to the mug is supposed to be like a coffee creamer or something. I'll know something you put in coffee. I don't drink coffee, so I don't know much about it, but I'll know it's like a coffee creamer thing that you'd like pour into the coffee. I was having a hard time making this table stand out over here. It almost just kept looking like a rug on the floor and I wasn't totally sure how to make it look like a table, but later I put a mug on the table and that really helps give the idea that it's a table. Oh, here I'm starting to add the highlights to Amy's hair. This really helped Amy pop out a bit because I was like, uh, I feel like she's not sticking out enough, but then I'm like, maybe I just need to shade her a bit more. And so I added more highlights to her hair and that helped her stick out a bit. And here I go in with some black and this really helped the picture have more depth to it. So I put a whole thing of black over the picture and then I erased the parts where I wanted to be brightest but I kept it kind of dark towards the bottom. And I feel like this really helps draw our eye kind of upwards towards Amy instead of downwards towards the ground. Um, so I'm really happy I went over with the black. So here I'm starting to add some of the shadow from the window onto the table. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this, like I knew that the window would cast shadow onto the table, but I'm like, eh, will I be able to pull that off? And I was able to pull it off, and I feel like it looks kind of cool. It also just makes the table a little bit more interesting. I felt like the table kept looking kind of boring and plain, so adding that little bit of extra shadow on the table made it a little bit more interesting. Next I'm going back to Amy and I'm trying to kind of darken all of her shadows and also lighten some of the lights just to give her a little bit more contrast and help her stick out from the picture. Uh, I'm also just kind of adding more shading on kind of everything in the picture. Uh, so things like the stool or just kind of things I feel like need to pop out a bit more. I also added this mug that I was talking about earlier. I really like this mug. I didn't use line art for it. I just used some blocks of color and a little bit of shading. And then I applied gaussation blur to it to make it kind of blurry and out of focus. That way our attention kind of goes to Amy. But it's still a nice touch in the foreground to make the picture a little bit more interesting. So here's the finished picture of Amy. I had so much fun drawing her and her outfit, and I'm pretty happy with how her pose turned out. I feel like it turned out kind of nicely. I feel like she doesn't look super stiff. I feel like she looks kind of natural, and that's something I've been working on a bit, so I'm kind of happy. <laughs> Before I end this video, I want to say thank you so much to my patrons, including Rachel, Andrew, Swinky, Bonnie, Fian, Cash Money Matt, Julie, now from Academy of Games, Lucille, Robert, Tamal, and Pisatera, Anne, Magic Gamer Dad, Eduardo, AJ, Michael, Volmerin, Adam, Naichan, Daniel, Panda Bear, Daniel, Ethereal, and Aaron. Thank you so much for being a patron and for your support. Well, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next week in my next video. Bye!